This is the new main menu in Sandbox. Here's what the previous main menu looked like. This menu has a ton of different tabs in it. There's the popular games tab, a lobbies tab, it looks like nobody has a lobby right now. An avatar tab, if you click it, it takes you to the avatar screen. There's the new and trending games, a list of zero events. Are these, I can't click these, okay. Here's the latest news and a server list. On the left side, these are our favorited games. So if you click the little heart, it'll favorite it and it'll appear in your main menu. I think the other tabs are mostly the same. The only thing that's different is the main menu and this little bar at the top. I'm not going to go deep into my thoughts on the main menu because it's still an early work in progress and this menu is probably going to get changed a few more times before Sandbox actually releases. A couple things that stand out to me are this latest news tab has a picture of one of the maps that I made on it in the background, so I always get confused a little when I look at it. Another thing I've noticed is the menu seems to get a little crunchy when you're using it at lower resolutions. So this is 1080p, this is what most people probably use. But if you have an older laptop, it might be at 720p, and the words look kind of crunchy. The smaller text is kind of hard to read, in my opinion. The same thing goes with the Steam Deck. So this is the size that the Steam Deck is at, and the text is just hard to read, in my opinion. But this will all get worked out. This menu is probably going to get reworked a few more times before release. There are a few other sandbox updates. There are new clothes, and it looks like the character creation screen is broken right now. So I don't know why that happened. I think that might have happened because I joined a server. Whoa. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. There's new hair. This is called the thinning short hair. So it comes in this color and a white color. That's crazy. There's also a new mono brow eyebrows, a new biker jacket. I think this is for people who ride bicycles. You can stay safe and warm in the winter. Here are the other jackets for reference. The high-vis jacket, the brown leather jacket, which comes in two colors, and the bomber jacket. And this new one is the biker jacket. There's also a new t-shirt. These are the old t-shirts, the v-neck shirt, but now there is a t-shirt t-shirt. Looks like currently there's one skin for this. It looks like it's really beat up. And on the shirt, well, I can't actually zoom in on the shirt in the avatar menu. It looks like it says super dead. And there's a picture of the sandbox character and an NPC zombie. Ah! That's so scary. There is a new in-engine UI editor. If you go to the UI inspector, I think you can now click on these different UI elements. There isn't much in the sandbox mode. The search bar doesn't seem to do anything, and I can't actually seem to find where group panel. Oh, there it is. This gave me an error when I clicked it last time. Does this picker actually let me pick things? No, it doesn't look like it. What does this do? Highlight selected? Interesting. So I think this lets me edit UI live in real time in game. So I can, oh yeah, I can click style, and I can change the actual CSS code. So I can change how far the health bar is from the side. Can I just straight up delete this part? No, it looks like I can only change values. So you can use this to change things like the color. I made the health bar red now, now it's blue. I can change the font. It looks like I have to just know the name of the font. There's no drop down window yet. I can change the color of the text. So now it's red. The height, I'll make this very tall with this padding. That's crazy. And once I've done with this, I can either click restore to default or I can save it to the actual code file. I wonder what that does. Oh, so it looks like it doesn't let you do it. It gives you an error if this isn't an actual game that you're making. But if I was on, for example, NPC Zombie Horde, I could change the size of my UI elements in real time without having to wait for the game to load every time I want to update the size or color. This is really crazy, and this will make editing UI a lot easier. So I can change the background color of the main menu. So we'll make it a bright red and change the blur to be a lot more intense or maybe less intense. I can change the background image tint. I'll make this red. And I'll set it to be 0%. That's crazy. 
But this is really cool that we can edit all this stuff now in real time. Ah, looks like we're playing Minecraft now. We're not playing Sandbox anymore. Don't mind at night. That's crazy. I can't believe I just turned Sandbox into Minecraft. I wonder, what if we change this to say time 3 a.m.? It's 3 a.m. and I'm playing Minecraft. Whoa, don't tell my parents. This is crazy. I can't believe this is a new update. Wow. The breakable glass has been updated. Now apparently you can use any polygon shape. Previously, your glass windows had to be a rectangle for it to be breakable. So let's try that out and see what happens. I wonder if it has to be one face or if it can be a mesh as long as it's flat. So here's a crazy shape that I made. This is made up of four faces, so I don't know if that'll work. This is the same shape, but it's one piece instead of four separate faces. So we'll see if that makes a difference. And lastly, I know the old breakable glass would mess up sometimes if it was at a weird angle. So we'll try this and see if it still works. And let's see, it looks like the glass doesn't exist. Is that right? Oh, I'm out of disk space, apparently. Sam, what did Sandbox do? <laughs> okay, now it crashed. Okay, I'm loaded back in and it looks like the glass still isn't here. Is that, did I do something wrong? Huh, so I can see the glass on Construct, but the glass isn't working on my map for some reason. That's really strange. Here's a video from the developers showcasing circle-shaped glass. Previously, this was not possible. It had to be a rectangle. I'm not sure if this is working right now, though, because I couldn't get it to work in my map. Also, something I just noticed, it looks like the in-game rendering for Sandbox is broken somehow. If you look at the hair on the character, it looks really weird. So that's very interesting. It looks more normal in the character creation stream though. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. And finally, there are some nerd coding updates in Sandbox. Yoga has been updated. I believe Yoga it, is Sandbox crashing? I believe Yoga is a system for making UI. I'm not super familiar with it, but I think it makes it easier to arrange UI elements. I might be wrong though. There's a new stencil highlight glow. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that is this glow outline when you have something with your fizz gun, or if that's something different. To be honest, it looks kind of the same to me. However, all of the commits that I've seen point towards it being this. I might be wrong though. This might be exactly the same. That's it. That's all the sandbox news.